Anyway, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to solve a cube root equation. Solving a cube root equation is very similar to solving a square root equation. And really, any root, you can do the same thing. Um, your goal, when you only have a single radical, this symbol is called the radical symbol. Um, when you have a single radical, your goal is to isolate that first. So you want to make sure that this is alone on one side. So as you can see, we are subtracting 3, so we have to move this 3 to the other side by adding it to both sides. That way it cancels out on the one side, and on the other side we're left with 3. So I would have the cube root of 1 minus 2x equals 3. Now what we want to do is get rid of the radical. So to get rid of the radical, if it was a square root, you would square. If it's a cube root, then you cube. If it's a fourth root, then you take it to the fourth power. So whatever this number is here, the opposite of that is the cube. That would undo it. And so I would cube this side also. <clears throat> so when I simplify this, I am left with 1 minus 2x because the cube and the cube root undo each other. They basically cancel each other out. On the other side, we have 3 to the third power. Remember that this really means 3 times 3 times 3, which gives us 27. And then we would solve for x. So we would just solve this linear equation. So I would subtract the 1 from both sides. So I get negative 2x equals 26. And we end up with x equals negative 13, since we divide both sides by negative 2. And we end up with x equals negative 13. For radicals, it's very, very, very important that you always check your work. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take and plug this back in to our original equation. So I would take the cube root of 1 minus 2, and I would replace x with what we what it ended up being, so the negative 13, minus 3 equals 0. So if we simplify this part right here, we end up with the cubed root of 1, and since I have a negative times a negative plus 26, and I get the cube root of 27, and the cube root of 27 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is 0. So this does work out, so we know that x equals negative 13 is indeed the solution. As always, thanks for watching.